This is Aya Kobear, the otaku of Kotaku, and welcome to the Kotaku Anime Corner, brought to you by Acura. This spring anime season is filled with too many series to haphazardly put on without a proper screening from a trusted source. I'll answer the critical question of whether these anime are safe to watch with other people in the room. For this week, we're looking at Hell's Paradise. Studio Mappa shows are typically all hits and no misses, and Hell's Paradise won't change that trend. Hell's Paradise, which fans have heralded as a part of the Dark Trilogy, alongside other mega popular Mappa shows like Jujutsu Kaisen and Chainsaw Man, follow legendary ninja Gabimaru and a group of criminals in the Edo period of Japan as they seek a pardon from the Shogun by attaining an elixir of life found on the island of Shinsenkyo. Shinsenkyo also just so happens to be called Kotaku, which is Mondo cool. What's less Mondo cool for Gabimaru and the rest of the anime Suicide Squad is that the island hosts dangerous creatures eager to turn their victims into human flower pots. Anime which attempt to portray horror like Netflix and Crunchyroll's Junji Ito anthologies often fail at delivering a worthwhile adaptation. Hell's Paradise is a happy exception to that trend. In typical map of fashion, Hell's Paradise's gory action hits just as hard as its hauntingly quiet moments of introspection between Gabimaru and the perpetually perturbed samurai Saigiri. If you're needing a fix for a horror slash action series that has a tad more to say than just showcasing gratuitous amounts of violence, put Hell's Paradise on your watch list. 